Okay guys, hi, and today's video is going to be a story time video, and it is not a very pleasant one, like, it's not very happy, like, I don't know, usually I am a very positive, happy person, but today was literally the, like, one of the crappiest dates of my life, like, Oh, I'm so done. Like, can I just, like, turn into a little hedgehog and crawl up and run away and roll into a ball and never come back? Because, like, that is what I want to do right now. Like, literally. Let's just get started on the story. So, let's start with school. Ugh, that already just, oh, day ruined. Day ruined. But not only is that, like, usually school is like, okay, like, whatever. I'm just going to go here, do my learning, and leave. But... This week, I found out that my best friend, pretty much that's been my best friend since the beginning of middle school, is getting homeschooled for the rest of the freaking year. That's right. But that's again, imagine how you would feel if you're, like, one of your only friends. And, like, I have a lot of friends, luckily. Like, I'm not forgetting anyone. Like, I have so many great friends, but, like, a lot of them are out of state. She was one of my closest friends in my state that goes to my school. And now she's just gone. Like, she's not going to go to school with me anymore. Bruh. I'm, I'm so done. So, yeah, that literally sucked. So, I dragged through school all day. And today is cross country. If you didn't know, I'm a cross country runner. And today we actually have a meet. And I actually kind of enjoy the meets. And this is actually the last meet of the year. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to just try really hard. I need to be so good. Like, I want to kick, but I want to try really hard. And so we get to leave school early. Yes. And we get on a bus and drive to the next school where we are going to be having our meet. But my cross country team, I don't really have any friends on it because I am the only 8th grade girl and so the 6th and 7th graders are all friends. And there are only a couple other 8th graders. And they're all boys. They're also kind of friends. So this whole year that I've been on cross country, I pretty much kept to myself. Like, I, I didn't bug anyone. Like, I just kept to myself. I wasn't rude. But I just came and I ran. And that pretty much is what my cross country was. And, like, yeah. I don't know. It was fine. I never really was upset about that or offended. So, yeah, but I'm pretty much just sitting in the corner of the bus, like, merp awkwardly on my phone, and whatever. And then we get to the school, and they say we can walk the track, because we're going to have to run a track, and since I don't go to the school, none of us really know what to expect, so we like to walk the track and get there early. So we're walking the track, and I'm really sorry if this video was too long, but we're walking the track, and it's really, honestly, it's pretty confusing because you're, like, pretty much going in circles and there are arrows pointing in, like, so many different directions and, like, I'm not exaggerating, I was confused. Um, I saw one of the boys that was coming, like, he was ahead of me, I saw one of the boys, let's just make up a name, let's say his name was Harold. Harold is walking back and he seems like, oh, he already saw the whole course, so I'm like, hey, Harold, buddy, uh, can you, I'm like, hey, you know what? I really don't have any friends, so why don't I try to be nice to this kid? And, you know, I'm going to hang out and talk with him for a little while because we're going to be here extra long because I have to, usually I don't have to do this, but I have to wait for everyone to run until I can leave the school because I took a bus. So I'm going to, like, I'm going to need a buddy, like, or someone to talk to at least. I don't want to be awkward the whole time. So I'm going to talk to this kid. So Harold, well, first thing off, I didn't really think this was mean at first, but I was like, hey, can you help me? Like, I'm confused. Are we supposed to cross over that bridge during the race? And he was like... He's kind of rude back to me. He's like, no, obviously not. You don't go over that bridge. You got to go over here. And I was like, but I ignored it. I was like, okay, so can you show me the road? So we start walking together and it's me, Harold, another guy, let's name him Ted and a boy named Andrew. Yeah, I'm making up names. So like there are no girls, honestly. It's me, Ted, Andrew and Harold and we're walking and... We get to this part, I don't even know why he did this. I guess, like, I wasn't offended or anything, but I was walking in front of them, and he gave me a flat tire, which I don't know if you know what that means. He, like, stepped on the back of my shoe and pretty much jacked up my shoes. So I'm like, oh, ha, ha, yeah, sorry. Or, like, I wasn't, like, oh, why would you do that? Like, I wasn't all upset. But I have long nails. I don't know if you noticed, but 
I do this a lot. I kind of scratched him back. Like, I didn't scratch hard, but I scratched him back. And he was like, oh, yeah, that doesn't even hurt. Like, he was really cocky about it. And I don't know. This may sound really creepy. Like, please don't take this the wrong way. But I think it feels kind of nice to, like, scratch things. So I scratched him again. Like, I scratched him again because he's like, oh, that doesn't hurt. And then, sorry. Yeah, he he's like, that did hurt, but... He was too cool to admit it. So I stopped, and I look over and actually kind of left a red mark on his arm. So, like, I'm genuinely feeling bad. Like, he didn't say that it hurt, but he, like, I could tell he was really hurt. So I was like, oh, I'm so, like, I was, like, being really concerned. I'm like, so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know. For some reason, if I do something wrong, like, I need the person to physically say I forgive you or I feel horrible for the rest of the day. And so I start following him around. Like, I will, I was following him and saying, like, Sen... Sorry, I thought I heard something. I was saying, Senpai, like, Senpai, please, Senpai, Senpai, please forgive me. Like, I don't know. I felt like calling him Senpai instead of Harold. And this other kid, Ted, starts teaming up on me with him. And he's, like, he punches me in the arm. But it wasn't hard. But I was, like, bruh, like, whatever, fine. Like, I guess that's fair enough. But I still just, like, Senpai, please forgive me. And I'm being so nice to him, like... Um, our teachers or our coaches gave us food and I was like, do you want my food? Like, what can I do? Just like, please say for, please, please say I forgive you. And he's like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And I'm like, please. So I kept following him and I'm like, I'm kind of joking around, but I'm also kind of like, I just want you to say like, I would have like, if he would have just said, yes, I forgive you. I would have left, but he was actually being really rude and he just didn't want to like forgive me. And so then his other friends, new friends, um, these two guys named, like, Bob and George. Bob and George come over, and he starts telling them, oh, this girl is so annoying, she's annoying me right now, like, which is rude. That's just rude. You can't just say that about someone, like, when I'm just trying to get you to forgive me. And so, the boys, um, Bob and George, is that what their name was? They're like, oh, um, here, follow me, follow me. They start, like, whispering, and they run into the boys' bathroom. But, like, I kind of walk, but obviously I don't follow them in there because, like, mm -mm, I'm not that creepy. So they, and then they come out, and they're whispering something, and I'm like, hmm, okay, whatever. I still, and so I go up to him again, I'm like, senpai, please forgive me. And then I'm being nice to the other boys, too. I'm like, oh, senpai two and three, senpai two and three. And then they start running, but honestly, I can catch up to them really easily because I'm on cross country. So I was running after them. And they turn the corner, and yeah. And then the boys are whispering again. They turn the corner, and I turn the corner, and they stop, but they're whispering. So now we're, like, in a parking lot where there's no one else. Honestly, I don't know if they were planning this, but this is actually really rude. Like, there was no one else around to see this. And the t three guys are standing, like, <laughs> let's pretend these are the boys. These are all beautiful LPS, but they're standing like this. This is Harold, this is George, and this is Bob. And they're all trying to, like, kick me. Like, they're all trying to trip me. And I'm like, and my mind just goes blank. Like, I knew what was happening, but I was, I was focusing on, because these two were in the front, and, I mean, there was more danger in front of me, so I was working on trying to, like, not get them. And I've been holding my phone this whole time. Like, I don't know, I am very protective of my phone, I'll have you know. And I was like, uh-uh, I'm not leaving my phone with my stuff where anyone could steal it. So I've been carrying my phone this whole time. And so I'm focusing on thinking these boys. And when my back is turned, no joke, Harold trips me. And I fall. And this is the worst part. I fall and I hear... I hear a crack, guys. I hear a crack. I hear a freaking crack. And I look down and my phone is freaking cracked. It's freaking Harold! <laughs> Why? And I am so in shock. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. This is my phone. Okay, you can see me. That's great. And, like, it's pretty bad. Like, it goes all the way across the screen, like, where you type, where you do everything. This is a really new phone, too, and I've never cracked my phone before. And it was not my phone. And I am... <sighs> Guys, I started crying. I s also, I scraped up my knee and, like, landed weird on my arm. And, like, I wasn't crying bad, but I just, like, walked out of there because... And then he was like, oh, whoops. So I walk out of there, and they all follow me. Okay, I'm not going to act this out anymore, but they all follow me. And Harold starts saying, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alyssa. I'm sorry. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That was, I just felt really, like, bullied because there was an imbalance of power. It was both physical and verbal because he was talking bad things about me he was saying how annoying I was he tripped me which hurt me and my phone really like I don't know like 
were you not considerate to enough to notice that I had my phone the whole time? You weren't thinking that I could have like what could have happened, what the results could have been. I phones are really expensive. My mom's gonna be my mom's mad at me. Like she's not mad at them. She's mad at me. She thinks it's my fault, and I don't have money to repair my phone. So now I have to deal with that. And really bringing your friends into this to corner me that was really rude too. And I'm not just gonna forgive you. And like all you needed to say was. I forgive you. I was trying to be nice. This whole thing started because I was like, I want to make a friend. I want to be nice. And they, he just completely was a total jerk to me. He didn't even give me a chance and he pretty much just bullied me. And we were on the same cross country team. Like, really, dude, was that necessary? I just don't understand. And keep in mind, I haven't even run my race yet because it goes in like waves sixth and seventh grade boys, sixth and seventh grade girls. And I'm in 8th grade, so 8th grade girls are, like, second to last. And I haven't run my race now. And now I feel awful. I'm this close to having a panic attack. I'm so worried. And I haven't even run my race. And this race was really important to me, honestly. And then I went and ran it. And I honestly didn't do as good as I wanted to. Like, I'm usually one of the best people on the team. I'm not, like, saying that to be, like, braggy or anything. And so many people beat me. And I was just so upset. Like, like seriously. I, like... I was, the whole race, I couldn't focus because I was just focusing on how upset I was, how much trouble I'm going to be in, how rude that boy was, like, how I just want to be friends, like, am I never going to be able to make more friends, and I'm scared because my best friends left, like, I want to have new friends, but I guess I'm not very good at making friends, so, I don't know, I didn't mean, I'm not, like, saying this, like, don't leave comments, like, sending me stuff, or, like, being, like, I'm not doing this so you guys can be, like, extra nice to me, whatever, like, this is a true story, and it, actually really is just I just wanted to let it all out so comment down below if anything like this has ever happened to you and like I don't know I'm not trying to like get like attention but true story and I'm just really I had a really sucky day today so story time I don't know if I'm gonna make more of these but I just had to say that and Harold if you ever watch this seriously you need help like you need help that was rude like no I'm never talking to you again and if I do, like, uh-uh, I'm not going to be nice. <laughs> okay, yeah, sorry if that video was long and boring and annoying. Um, whatever, you don't have to watch these ever again if you didn't like it. But please like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys. You are, like, one of the only reasons that makes my day. And you guys are amazing. And I love you so much. And see you in the next video. Bye.